Christmas is coming to Moomin Valley, apparently, and I'm excited to get into this because, you know, while I am a Halloween fiend, I don't dislike Christmas, I just like Christmas when it's supposed to be Christmas. Before the Christmas feeling is there, like, I am, I'm like, I'm like, be gone Christmas, back to the end of the year. But when the feeling is there, it's just like, oh, I love this season, so good. But yeah, so let's let's get into it. Episode thirty-six: Christmas is coming yet again. Bob Ross paintings, every shot. Alicia, wow. What do you do with these pine needles? That's what we always eat before we hibernate. Well, I'm glad to see her. Well, well I'm glad to see I her again. You came on just the right day, Alicia. We usually have a small party the night we start hibernating. Actually, they didn't eat just pine needles for dinner that evening. They had lots of other nice things, too. All cooked by Moom and Mama. Very Captain, nice. I'd like to say how sorry I am. Why? I persuaded you to stay on here instead of going south as you'd planned. I'm leaving tomorrow. But the snow Yet again, is going that Tampico deep. pink juice. Don't worry, I'm used to deep snow. Also, eating pine needles seems weird, but we do eat pine nuts. I don't know. Oh, do hello. some people eat you? pine needles? Grandma! We're leaving. Come, Alicia. Please let me stay, Grandma. <laughs> Certainly not, young lady. Witches never mix with people like this. But they're nice. They really are, Grandma. That's the trouble. They are disgustingly, sickeningly good. Oh. Except for that one. On. She is utter is chaos. Cold? You and your whole family are never to speak to my granddaughter again. Is that understood? Moom and Papa is a highly educated gentleman. But I am a witch with three diplomas. <laughs> Maybe so. I have three diplomas in witchcraft. Ever seen one of these before, you little Can you both ride on that broom? It looks pretty scruffy to me. Could fall to pieces any minute. Do drive slowly in this weather. <laughs> oh, please don't fall off, Alicia. What terrible chatterboxes you all are. Please keep quiet, all of you. They're showing their concern. Are Come on. <laughs> Little Mai does not return to monk. She returns to goat. <laughs> oh. Snufkin departed for his trip south, and the Moomins went into hibernation. There's someone at the window. Why did you wake me up? Well, you shouldn't be asleep. Didn't you know Christmas is coming? Who on earth is that? <laughs> what? Who is Christmas? This isn't a joke, Moomin. You better watch out. A fir tree. I really must get a fir tree. Christmas who? What's this about a fir tree? We need one to protect ourselves against this Christmas person, Moomin. <laughs> ah, about time you Moomins got up. Uh, how are you, Gapsy? Pretty good fur tree, that. Love to stay, but I haven't even finished cooking yet. Yep. Take care, dear. Random strange visitors, okay. He told us what to do with the fur tree. Oh, what did he say? To decorate it beautifully. They also say we have to cook lots of food for Christmas. Goodness. Well, at least he won't be eating us then. <laughs> Aw. Mmm, that looks beautiful. Listen, everybody. I just heard that you need to get lots of presents for Christmas, too. It's just, like, this isn't a new idea, and it's and it's definitely not something that... It's, I it's think Christmas will come any moment now. It's definitely something so that I. has been done oh, before. Dear. I do hope he likes my pumpkin pie. He will. But... Imagine just, everyone just, in Moomin Valley being frightened. The, mm. oh, the, the way they do it... Like their own original way. He's coming. Whoa. I never thought Christmas could be that small. You are all very welcome. Oh, thank you. He's gonna find out. Papa, I don't think these creatures are Christmas. Neither do I. Come on, everyone gather around. Yeah, I am. Aren't you sleepy too, little ones? Sleepy with a wonderful Christmas tree like this to look at? Listen, my friends, we'd like to give you the tree and the food and the presents. What? All of this? For us? Yes, we want to sleep. We're far more sleepy than scared. <laughs> Snork Maiden? Oh, is he here yet? 
No, but we decided Aww. to go back to hibernating. Right asleep. Tampico! Look at that! Very cute. And apparently it didn't make any difference at all, because the Moomin family slept as peacefully as ever all through the night without Christmas coming anywhere near them. <laughs> So probably he went someplace else. <laughs> well, that was just pleasant. That, that was. <laughs> Yet again, like I said, this isn't a new concept. Like introducing characters that don't know what Christmas is to this idea of Christmas is something that's been done before and uh, and is done again. But it's always. But seeing how different characters react to to. Like different ideas, it's it's all it's always, it's it's literally just you know, writing a character in a situation. That's just how you create a story. Listen to how I ramble on obvious things, but uh, yeah, that was cute. That 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 was that was just adorable and silly. But that's that's what this show mostly is. It. it I was hoping that they'd have, like, you know, like, a Christmas party, like, and that just, you know, I was expecting too typical of this show, you know, but this was fine, this was cute, this, this was, this was fun. Whether or not you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have wonderful holidays this year. Like, the, things have been weird, this, things have been weird these past two years, but we're, we're managing, we're, get, we're getting through it. Things things have think things have been up and down, but yet again we manage it. And the holidays are times to be to get to be together, even if not fully in person. Like hell, we have the internet. Just just give just take that time to to, to make sure everyone to, everyone you know knows how much you appreciate you just appreciate them and vice versa and stuff. Just give love and sh and show that. We all may be different and weird in all our own rights, but, like, we matter to each other. And stuff like that. Like, it, it's, it really is a time to just celebrate, you know, life. And just, like, everyone around you, the good things in life, and stuff like that. So, whatever you celebrate, I hope, I hope you have a good one, and, and, you know... Just enjoy life, enjoy the, enjoy the people you care about, and and make and and let them know how much they matter to you. Stuff like that. Just have a good one, whatever you celebrate. Or hell, even if you don't celebrate any holidays, that's valid too. Just make sure to just make sure to take the time this year to set aside to make sure that the people that matter to you, the the people in your life that that matter to you understand how much they mean to you, you know? But anyway, enough of my rambling. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, all the all the good stuff, even if you don't celebrate them. Have a, have a good one, everyone. Alright, so, thinking this is probably going to still be during winter, because this episode is called The Midwinter Bonfire, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. I don't know, I, like, I don't know how, how this is going to go, Moon's probably gonna wake up from hibernation again this year, but we'll see if we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see if he ends up going back to sleep after this, or or you know what'll happen? Because winter is unpredictable from what from what it seems in in this series. Like last year, we got uh, the we got the Lady of the Cold. That was a nightmare, but but an amazing one. And then uh, Mr. Brisk and Saryu came came by, so. There's always unexpected stuff happening in winter in Moomin Valley, so, you know, I don't think I'd ever be able to guess. Either way, the midwinter bonfire. Winter at night. A sight to behold. During his long winter sleep, Moomin had a dream. Huh? <laughs> Seems that she's becoming a more and more prominent, wow, prominent character. Now. That's right. I'm a fully fledged witch now, Moomin. Would 
you mind if we went a little higher, Alicia? Sure. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Just hover downward. Come on, Nat. <laughs> Kiki's delivery service. Which is on which is like my favorite Studio Ghibli movie? Give me back my brown at once. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why don't you take a closer look at it? That's not a broom. What do you mean this is not a broom? Snack. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I must have been dreaming. You were yelling out loud. Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up, Snork Maiden. But yeah, I love Studio Ghibli movies, and Kiki's my favorite. Just so feel good, you know? It is nice and warm in here. Yet again, just beautiful. I'm so very hungry, Moomin. I have a funny feeling someone is watching us and I don't like you one little bit. Tootiki told me all about it last winter, Snort Maiden. The invisible shrew mice. Like under the sink and other dark corners of the room, I can feel it. I wonder what these things look like. Some of them look very much like us, Tootiki said. Old ancestors of ours from way back, she thinks. Some of Whoa. them look like us, she said? Well, I've Deep never lore. seen them for myself. Susie? Now, don't say anything to scare them, but this is one of the Moomin's ancestors from way back. Okay, deep lore. Please, Grandma, oh. I won't be long, I promise. What are you talking about? As if you could fly a broom. <laughs> now, give me back my broom and don't be silly. <laughs> How many times must I tell you you can't go visiting Moomin Valley? But it's so boring here. I want some company, Grandma. Come on, broom, fly off. Take me to Moomin Valley. Come on, Alicia. Huh? 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 Help me up, Grandma, please. All right, my girl, I'll help you up, shall I? <laughs> I don't believe it! I'm floating! Oh! Oh, oh boy! This is great! Wait! Oh, oh I'm falling! Oh! 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 oh. oh. How about that, Alicia? Oh. Don't find it boring around oh. here. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that counts. <laughs> if you want to learn to fly on this broom, Alicia, then forget all about those dratted movements and really start studying. It's hard work, you know, young woman. You must learn to concentrate. Ooh. Hey, you up there! Are you making fun of me too? <laughs> Don't harass the wildlife, Alicia. Oh, I can't climb down that. Of course you can. You After can all, owls are are, are a type of witch show. familiar. What's the matter? There's not much wood left in here. Someone else must be burning it. Yes, the Grog. Oh. Yet again since Goodness last winter. Me, look how big she gets in the winter time. Moomin, I'm scared. It'll be all right. Grow, stop right there. <laughs> Don't come any closer, if you please. You're much, much too cold for us, you see. You could freeze us stiff, you know. <laughs> oh, is it possible that you get lonely all by yourself? I don't think there's anything we can do to help you, know. Not without fur coats and earmuffs and warm gloves, anyway. We must go. Aww. Yet again, just showing that she's just this strange, lonely, sympathetic character. 
I don't like that. Wow. Skillful. Moon Aww. Man. Moon Man. Just missed him. Oh, where could he have gone? My oh, goodness. that is beautiful. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Hi, it's good to see you. Hi, Tutiki. Hello, Tutiki. So this winter snot man woke up too, huh? Oh, well, tutiki has got a new voice actor. I'm afraid the winter creatures aren't very careful about ownership. They need a lot, so if they see it, they take it. It's for their big winter bonfire. A bonfire? Yes, and now your firewood can take part in the big celebration. They light it every winter to make sure the sun comes back, you know. Stop! Help me! Someone shouting for help? Who could it be? Go away! Get away from me! I didn't do it on purpose! I didn't mean any harm! Oh, it's so cold! Go away, please! Ah! 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 Grove, leave her alone! What are you doing, Grove? Alicia! Now listen, Grub, why can't you be nice to her? Alicia is one of my friends. She was just standing there looking at nothing when I came down on my skis. I nearly bumped into her, but I didn't touch her. That's all right, Alicia. Tell me, Grub, what's gotten into you? Why are you so nasty to such a sweet little girl? It isn't like you at all. I must have startled her, I guess. And I did apologize and all, but it made no difference. This is really very odd. Then I asked if she had seen you, and that's when she started to get mad at me. But she doesn't even know me. It's a mystery. Whatever's the matter with you, Grok? Oh. <laughs> Angie. It's really a mystery to me why the Grok was here at all. She was here looking for Moomin, no doubt. Was she? He's suddenly become very popular. Huh? You don't mean... <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I think the Grok may have fallen in love with you, Moomin. Oh, dear. But yeah, I think I like the voice acting for Tutiki in the episode with the uh, with the Lady of the Cold J just a bit better. My, just my just my feelings on it. I may be alone on that, but still. That is cool. That's so cool. I can see some of them. Look, they're over there. That is so cool. I see them too, you guys. What a wonderful celebration. I, I love it. That's ominous. That's very ominous. What's going on here? The Groke. What? What's she doing here? I think she just wants to warm herself by the fire. Trying to get warm, apparently. Well, that's the end of the midwinter bonfire. Poor Grog, she freezes everything she touches. Whatever she sits on, even the hottest bonfire, turns freezing cold in a matter of seconds. Well, at least she's managed to save some of our wood. <laughs> tight now, Stork Maiden, and be careful. Sleepy ground pound. I can't wait to get into bed. Take care, Alicia. I will, Moomin. The moon will light my way back.
Maybe not ready for the broom yet, but she can really get it on those skis. I'm happy for her. This time the moments have gone too far. Something must be done. I'll teach them a lesson they'll never forget. That sounds very ominous. Let's hope at least that she lets them sleep till next spring. Well, I'm concerned. Yet again, we get more characterization of the Groke, just seeing the, this poor unfortunate creature that just is just cursed with just being freezing and cold and unable to get warm and has no one no one to keep her company because she freezes everything she touches. It is an, un an unfortunate life for the Groke. Cool stuff. I don't mean that as an a pun. It really does seem like Alicia is becoming a much more prominent character in this series, and I like that. She's she's interesting. And uh, of course, the Groke. Always good to see. Always good to see Tutiki again, as as always. Just just great to have char recurring characters coming back every now and again. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see if the Moons can manage to. Get, get the witch to warm up to the idea of Alicia spending time with them. I mean, it's definitely going to be more difficult than than with uh, than with Miss Philly Jonk because it's been three episodes and she, and the witch is definitely like, you know, she does not want Alicia to be spending time with the Moomins. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see if they, we'll see if they can manage to get through to her. Episode 38 is called The Spell, so I'm guessing this is going to be a direct continuation from uh, last episode where, where the witch was saying how, she, how she's got something in store for the Moomins. It, it, I'm, I am concerned about it, but I don't think she's... She, she's, su she's, like, totally malicious, so this should hopefully be, like... Maybe no, maybe nothing t maybe nothing too bad. Maybe just a bit of mischief, like like I don't know. I don't I don't think she's a she's a malicious character. She doesn't seem like it. But maybe this episode's going to change my mind on that idea. We'll see. Apparently, she's going to cast a spell over them over the moments. So maybe 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 I, maybe I'm wrong about about the whole situation. <sighs> If anyone knows how to fix a creaky, cracky chair, I don't know. I don't. I don't really. I don't really know how to fix. I don't really know how to do maintenance on one of these chairs. Either way. So uh, yeah, we'll see what kind of spell she casts on the Moomins and E. Episode thirty-six, the spell definitely seems like we're spending more time in winter this year. I'm happy about that. I wonder why the Grok is, is, is all of a sudden fixated on Moomin. Maybe because he talked to her reasonably? Like he addressed her like as a person rather than just a monster? Eldritch Kabbalah Zoom! Eldritch Kabbalah Zoom! Eldritch Kabbalah Zoom? Oh, it's snowing again. I must get a covered broom. I mean, if you if you want if you wanted to summon me, that's not the way to do it. Uh, never mind. I'm guess I, I, I guess spring is starting. Spring? Thaw had come at last. <laughs> Moomin, wake up! Spring is here! It's time to wake up! Moomin! Snork Maiden! What are you doing, Sniff? What am I doing? You can see, can't you? Of course I can, but why are you climbing up that? Moomin and Snork Maiden are still asleep. I have to wake them up. Why don't you go this way? It's easier! There's a perfectly good door. What do I do now? <laughs> Either go the rest of the way or, or go my down. Mom is still asleep. <laughs> oh my god, they're dead! Wake up! We've tried everything to wake up. 
wake them up short of buckets of water, and there's no moving. <laughs> they shouted and shook and pitched and tickled and stopped. Oh, dear. It did not, not sound like she said ominous. buckets. Oh, my, surely not. But what, Hello, but what the hell is a fucket of water? How is everyone? Snufkin did come back from his yearly trip south. Snufkin! Snufkin! Where's Moomin? He's in bed. Come on, Snufkin. You've got they some worldly knowledge. No what you do. I think somebody has cast a very nasty spell on them. Huh? A spell? But who would do that? Yet again, oh. Snufkin seriously is wise beyond his age. Old soul. The forest and see her. Snuffkin. Huh? That's him. At last. Move in. Move in. Move in. He's dreaming. Move in. I promise to get this horrible spell cast off for you. Hi everyone. It's me. Oh, she's pissed. It would be for me to talk to her first. If the moments are asleep, why should you go there? Do them a world of good, too, along sleep. How ridiculous, Grandmother. Alicia, you've done quite well in your studies, and if you keep at it, I see no reason why you shouldn't be a fully-fledged witch before 30. The moments are a very bad influence on you. They are so disgustingly good, and if you want to be a witch, you mustn't see them. And if I promise never to go near Moomin Valley again, will you lift the spell, Grandma? Good girl, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Snufkin! What do you want? I have no choice but to ask you to perform the task. <gasps> Alicia, get me the next potion, now! Oh. Oh. All right, Grandmother. <laughs> Loud sighing. Right, Snufkin. Get on with it. Oh, spring is here already. Good morning, Papa dear. Mm, good morning. Aww. Hi, Snuffkin! Hi! Ah, <gasps> morning! Alicia! Alicia! She Welcome didn't say... To see you, Alicia. She that didn't nice say <laughs> that they couldn't come to the Forest of Your Witches. Your isn't home, is she? No. Then we can play hide-and-seek. You didn't promise not to see us. You just promised not to go to Moomin Valley, didn't you? Yeah. Now listen, you never promised not to play with us either, did you? No. So, if we came here to see you instead of you to us, then it's all right and you don't have to break your promise. Oh, there you go. I suppose so. Yes, I suppose you're right. Well, let's play. <laughs> <laughs> he blends right in. Ah, uh, just one of those staring rocks. Definitely not moving. That afternoon, they all had the most wonderful time playing hide-and-seek in the woods. Ah, oh, come on, loosen up. It's not like Alicia's social life is going to derail her studies. In fact, having having some having some kind of way to enjoy way to have fun and enjoy yourself is, I'd say, uh, probably it should be a requirement for, you know, like living a life. Like sure, you can you can, but put, put a ton of time into studying and and like working towards something. But if you don't have something to help you decompress from all of it, then that's that's just bad for you. That's just that literally is just straight up bad for you. I don't know what else to say. That's just that's just a, that's just. I feel like there's been plenty of there's already been plenty of proof that hey, yes. You're you're free to study. You're free to d you, you you probably should like if you're doing something or aspiring to something, you should do your work. You should study. You should work towards it. But if you don't have like if not a social life, at least a way to like decompress and unwind and and like spend some time doing something other than it. You're not going to live a good life, and it's probably going to worsen the the quality of your your study and the quality of your work. That's I, th I think that's the case at least. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of studies that say, hey, don't pu don't put your life into your work. Don't put your life into your studies. It's not healthy. Hell, I'm pretty sure that that's one of the, that's one of the things that's just like that. I don't know causes people to die from being overworked. You know. 
Plus, Alicia's young. She's got her whole life ahead of her. It's not like... It's not like... It's not like some free time's going to give, be a detriment to her, you know, becoming a witch. But uh, I, I feel like her grandmother is at, is at least concerned. But I I don't know. Her, I don't know if her concerns are, are are founded. I feel like Alicia would make a would make a very good good witch. I just find it funny that we're that we're getting a Christmas video and it's just gonna, and it's going to be a Moomin video that has to do with Christmas. What is this timing? <laughs> it, I find it I just find it funny. It just 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 proper cosmic timing, I'd say. This is episode 39. Things that go bang in the night. Oh, you mean me? Ha ha ha. Anyway, <laughs> Big explosions could be heard in Moomin Valley almost every night, and Moomin couldn't sleep a wink. Usually there was just one, but sometimes even two. Be Tomorrow living near someone who owns better. dynamite. The bangs might not come from Moomin Valley at all, and they might be just an echo off the mountains. You think so? Yes, I do. Well, at least that's what's Could be rock slides. Well, we had two explosions last night, and we've never had double explosions for two nights in a row. Until now, that is. You heard that? It clearly came from over there. Over there? Oh no, it certainly came from over there. You couldn't mistake it. I'm sure of it. Well, I'd imagine a, I'd imagine a valley a, a valley like this would be very echoey. You're surrounded by mountains. <laughs> is that you, little Mai? No. And where are you two going? Well, if she makes the explosions, it's always possible that someone else is the target. We know very little Bunos. about witches, and those bangs are probably nothing to do with the Moomins. And then this cute owl again. That owl just lives there. That is that owl's Wonder home. Wonder she's at home. I don't want to be seen talking with goody goodies like the Moomins. You think they'll ruin your reputation? It's bad for my reputation. Is <laughs> God damn it! Hmm. <laughs> uh, there's just something very important we wanted to ask you. And then we'll leave straight away. I don't make explosions. Who is it then? I really don't know. The explosions bother me too. I went all the way over to the beach to see what was happening. There was only one explosion that night, so when I got there on my brawn, there was nothing more to see. Then we still have no idea who makes the bangs. No, and I'm really upset you thought it was me. When a witch creates an explosion, it doesn't sound anything like a camel cough, I can tell you. <laughs> Camel cough. Camel cough. I like that. <laughs> well, at least they're they're all good humor about it. But again, it must be very loud to be heard all over Moomin Valley and in the forest of, the w of witches. Those bangs are not what keeps me awake, Moomin Papa. No, I'm waiting for a reply from the Botanist Federation. I sent them a brand new species. New species. I've never seen anything like it in month? my whole life. A few months ago was winter. Orchid. I'm so excited I can hardly speak. Yes, Unless he did this in it, autumn. Oh, it would be such a great honor for me and for everyone else if they called it Orchidaca hemulensis or hemuliformis. Oh, what is it? Now I see. At last I understand. I am getting no reply from the Botanist Federation because it is not a new species. Hmm. <gasps> Of course, somebody's already found it. Oh. Oh, this is oh, really man. funny. Oh, no, no. How stupid I am. This oh, is the end of guy. me as a scientist, of course. Yeah, calm down, don't upset yourself, Mr. Hemulin. Everybody will laugh at me and call me Mr. Hemulensis. Now listen, Mr. Hemulin, the reply is a long time coming because they must examine your plant most carefully before making a decision. They must read all the books first, to be sure. You really think so, Moomin Papa? Believe in really yourself. Take so long, do you think? Of course, these things take time. When did you send it off? About a month ago. Well, there you are. That's no time at all. You have to learn to be patient, Hemulin. You think so? Oh, I feel better already. Oh, I'm so glad you feel happier, Mr. Hamulin. And don't you worry. That was a quick friend. crisis. But if only tonight, having a breakdown was, was that streamlined in real life. I feel like that was a non sequitur. All right. 
but I'm sure it'll lead to something. You're so white. See, Moomin, I'm not big and white like you. He can he can hide in a snowbank. Can you hide in a snowbank, Snufkin? Also, to what I've seen in the comments, uh, the witch and Alicia are unique characters to this series. Which is which is interesting. But it's good to see you. Because yes. they they Alicia, are very interesting yes. characters in is their own right. Has your been kind to you since your last visit to us? Very kind. She's been treating me very well ever since I stopped coming to see you. Oh, good. But we do miss you, Alicia. Oh, I miss you too. But I must keep my promise to her. She'd be upset if I broke it. What are these weeds? They're herbs. Herbs are very important for a witch. And frogs' bellies and lizards' tails, they're important too, of course. I think that's licorice. That's right. Very clever, Snufkin. We use that for heartburn and coughs. They smell mm. quite nice. And it also stops cows from giving their milk. I see. Weird. That's interesting. Very studious. Hmm. I wonder what Mr. Hemulin would think of all the with all, of all the herbology. Hey. Oh, it's arrived. Is that what it is? Herbology? Study of herbs? Don't you know I'm expecting an important letter from an important scientist? It must be in your bag. Ah, all right then. Go ahead. What? Well, you don't seem to trust me to do my job properly, Mr. Hemulin. Go ahead. Have a look for yourself, then. I really think I should ask for a higher salary. I deserve it. I mean... <laughs> I'm just... Starving. Mail service is an important I job. I have to go over and visit the Moomins in a minute. Oh, who are you? I'm sleepy, too. I could go on sleeping. Oh, ow! <sighs> what do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Is this place called Moomin Valley? Yes, that's right. At last I found it. I never thought I'd really make it. Hey, excuse me, are you all right? Talk to me, miss. Sniff, no, get a doctor. I'm bothering you. Huh? Oh, she's ill. Do you know a man called Hamulin? Yes. Have you walked what? all the way to Moomin Valley to visit him? So I have come to the right place. He does live here. Well, what oh, in the yes. world? He lives very close to here. I'm so glad. I must see him immediately. Oh, what shall I do? I must do something. Come here, someone! Someone help me! Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Strong, Anybody? Sniff. Help! Help me, wow. somebody! Sniff just told us about her. Oh, dear, is she unconscious? Oh, I do not know this person. Maybe she's changed. I've already told you. I have never known any young girl. Oh, dear. She can tell us when she wakes up. We must leave her now so that Grandma's medicine can work. And there's another thing about uh, the, the this show. It has consistency of like, you know, oh, character you stuff. Just like that. Please stay and have some tea with us. Thank you, but no, I have some plans to press. And you're sure? You're quite sure you don't know this girl? Absolutely certain. Oh, I'd really love to. Come. What is this sexy I pose, Sniff? <laughs> I think scared of the beach in the middle of the night. After all, it's my duty to stay here with Moom and Mama. Are you coming, Sniff? Certainly not. I'm too busy getting painted. But yeah, like it's barely brought up, but but Moom and Mama does know a lot of a lot of like me Here, medicines and potions and stuff. You might get very hungry. And that stays oh, consistent. You, I think we should save this food for a while. We might have to wait a long time for the explosions. Then they might not come tonight. Oh. Hmm? Oh, where did that come from? From the sea. Keep a sharp lookout. Look over there. What is it? Oh! Wow! Oh. Fireworks. That's what I call fireworks. Nice. Come on! Somebody must be out there in a boat. You know, I had a feeling it was going to be because the next episode has the word fireworks in the title, but I was like, maybe There's it could be something different and, so the and, the fireworks must have come and the next there. episode will be hey, different. 
but I feel like I feel like this is going to be a two-parter. But he was much younger. And so, as a result of their excursion to the beach, they finally learned that the big bangs that had been waking everyone up were fireworks. They also learned that the fireworks were coming from a boat far out to sea, but the man who had sent them up disappeared into the night. That that episode seemed to whiz by, and yet again, it does seem to have these two isolated events. But hopefully, they'll they'll converge in this upcoming episode because I don't I don't know if I want to have this have this be a three parter because that's going to be. Oh boy, that'll that'll be six episodes. I'm going to have to edit for the final for the final version, and that'll be that'll add to the time crunch, and it'll it'll add to my stress. Please let episode forty be. Please let this just be a two-parter. I mean, it's it's not that I it's not that I dislike a three-parter. It's just that I don't want that much stress on me. A six-parter is so much harder to is it's significantly harder to edit. Like, mainly just because it, for each of these episodes, it takes, like, a good couple hours to edit. They might be, like, 20-something minutes, but this the, the editing that goes into it takes hours. And, e and that builds up, you know? <laughs> so, I really hope this is just going to be a two-parter. Mainly just because I... Just to keep me from stressing out, because I need to have this video up on, uh on Christmas Eve or Christmas. I'm certain I will because like by the t because by the time I've got these episodes finished and like posting to coffee, I'll have pretty much two full weeks to work on that. So, you know, it's not that I'm going to be stressed about it. It's just the fact that, you know, I don't need that much more work on my head. <laughs> I'm already stressed out as it is. I, I tried getting into editing the supercut versions uh, version the first episode of Hollow Knight and I'm just like okay first episode pretty much edited out now I have 70 more I'm gonna work on something easier for now and put this on the back burner this one's going to go for a while but yeah interesting episode a lot of moving parts here a lot of differing characters doing doing different things and hopefully it'll all converge, it'll all converge well. We'll see what happens. Episode 40, The Secret Fireworks. The quality on this episode looks a bit crispy. But hey, what, what I can only do with, with what I can. I'm not get, I like a lot of these episodes aren't even on YouTube. But yeah, I'm doing the best I can to continue this series despite how difficult well, it's mama, proving with this morning. seemingly more episodes disappearing from YouTube. The fever's gone down now and she's not so pale. She just needs sleep. Good morning, my dear. I handpicked these little flowers especially for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Could one of you go upstairs and change the wet towel I put on that girl's brow? I do it myself, but my hands are full just now. Oh, no, woman, mama. <laughs> oh, would you sniff that? <laughs> Sniff! Don't forget to wring the towel out really well! Okay! Oh no. Poor Sniff. Gonna, gonna get his heart destroyed. You barely know the girl. But hey, it's it, it's puppy love. He's fixated. She's got those hazy eyes. <laughs> you spooked her. No, no, don't get up. Lie down in bed. Who are you, please? Huh? Have you forgotten me? But it, it's me! Oh, it's me, Sniff, the one who saved you! Did you really? She's forgotten me already. Oh! All that effort. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't remember. You said that you'd come to Moomin Valley to see the Hamulin, and after that you just fainted. Hamulin? 
Are you trying to say you can't remember him either? Uh, oh, I have a headache. <laughs> now, don't you worry. It's probably nothing serious. I'll get Mom and Mama to come up. <laughs> hey, she's woken up! She's forgotten me! Is she really? Oh, is that possible? I held her. I carried her. She looked at me. Is my face really hard to remember? If you want my opinion, it's harder to forget. Can you you got a very me? memorable face, Sniff. Oh, I forgot all about that. What's going on? Is the girl all right? Yeah, she's woken up. Oh, that's good news. Well, let's go and have a look. Yes. Uh... <sighs> Don't get up. You take it easy. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm feeling a whole lot better today. I'm very pleased to hear it. You must be Mama Mama. Yes, that's right. How did you know my name? The boy who was in here just now talked about a Moomin Mama, and you look like a Moomin Mama. <laughs> oh, yes, that was Sniff. He picked these flowers for you. Oh, that's nice. And may I ask what your name might be? Oh, of course, it's Nana. Could you please tell that nice boy I'm sorry if I was rude and thank him for the flowers? Don't worry about that. Sniff just thinks you've lost your memory. <laughs> we were very worried about you for a while. Thank you. You're all very kind to me. Especially Sniff. I'm so sorry I behaved so badly when I woke up. You're Aww. my hero. Your hero? Oh, Aww. it was really nothing. You can walk over me anytime. Uh, <laughs> <I> stumble. <laughs> oh, yes, the Hamulin. I must see him at once. It's very important. Well, that's very odd. At least she started to remember. I'm sure you've got the right Hamulin. I always did say he didn't know you. Oh, did he? Then that must mean my fiancé hasn't told the Hamulin anything about me. Fiancé? Yes, it's a bit like a boyfriend, but we're getting married. Getting married? Um, I'm sure Mr. Hamlin knows my fiance. <laughs> and Sniff crumbles into time. dust. He makes fireworks. You see, he's yeah. I was about to apprentice. say fireworks. Oh, the children saw someone shooting fireworks near the sea last night. Oh yes, that must be him. I was right. It must have been him making the fireworks. <laughs> Poor Sniff. We all knew it was coming. Move in! Snuffkin! Didn't, <laughs> didn't expect her to be Come engaged, though. The mystery of the fireworks has been solved. Has it really? So who's behind it? It looks like someone turned off the anti-aliasing. Try to get some more sleep or you'll tie yourself out. I'm sure the children will bring your fiancé here when they find him. Yet well, again, woman mama just being a mom to everyone. Your fiancé got rather upset because her father didn't really think he was much good at making fireworks. Oh, so he asked his relative, the Hemulin, for help because he makes great fireworks. Yes, and now they've got a problem because her father's been taken ill and there's no one to make the fireworks for midsummer. So Nana came here to get him. Yes, uh, and she was tired because she'd been trying to make the fireworks herself. Poor thing. Lucky she stumbled over me. That that's a lot of exposition there. I didn't I don't I don't feel like I kept, I caught all of it. <laughs> just just look in the in the window <laughs> like put it in the mailbox. You mean my letter hasn't arrived for me today either? No. Are you quite sure? Yep. It could be at the bottom of no. your bag. No, it couldn't. Well, you never know. It might have got stuck to another letter, maybe with chewing gum. Can I have a quick look inside, just in case? Stop and think about it. You did the same thing yesterday, didn't you? Uh, yes. And would you please remind me what you found in it, Mr. Hemulin? Nothing. It hadn't arrived. Maybe it has arrived today. <laughs> Okay, I give up. You know, perhaps it would be simpler if I got you a job sorting the mail. Hey, Don't hey, throw them on the ground! <laughs> well, are you satisfied now? 25 years in this job and I haven't mislaid a single letter. I know, I'm sorry. It's just that this was such an important letter. Don't tell me it's from a young lady. Oh, Mr. Hamulin. Mm -hmm. This is your letter. <gasps> Why you... From the Hamulin Federation of Botanists, a seed catalog, no doubt. Why'd you have to do that That's to him? Why didn't you say you had the letter? <laughs> Because you doubted my word as a mailman, and if you doubt me, you pay for it. I had a feeling. 
<laughs> oh dear. I did it! I did it! Oh boy, I did it! Congratulations, Mr. Hamulin. Oh, I really did! Well done! Congratulations, Mr. Hamulin. What is it you've done? I've found a whole new species! That's good. <laughs> It's a totally new plan, and now the Federation of Botanists is so exciting! <laughs> I can't hear you, the mixing's kind of off! Glad to be of service, Mr. Hamulin. Oh, Hello dear. There. Where are you going? We're going to see the Hamulin. Do you know if he's in? Oh, he's in all right, unless he's floated off in a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Great way of saying that. Oh, so you found that out. What a relief. <laughs> He's in the cave down on the beach working hard on midsummer fireworks. Perhaps you would be good enough to tell him that I am now the officially recognized discoverer of a new type of orchid. <laughs> Uh, hey, that's great news! Congratulations, Mr. Hamulin! Congratulations! Congratulations. Oh, well, thank you very much, all of you. It is, you know, somewhat of a feather in my cap. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye! You know this fiancé? Yes, I am. But who are you, and how do you know Nana? Yes? Go on. Go on! Oh, it's you! Aww. I'd better be on my way now, Moomin Papa. Mr. Hemulin, uh, we'd like to have a party in honor of your first plant. Well, thank you very much. Just oh, wait till so you see nice. how much I've improved, Nana. Now I understand what your father means by good fireworks. My uncle, the Hemulin, makes beautiful ones. And while I've been here in Moomin Valley, he's taught me everything he knows. Aww. I can see now that fireworks aren't just lots of colors and big bangs. They must come together to make a whole. Aww. I'm very proud of you. I have made some really good ones at last, and I tested them for the first time last night. I think they looked wonderful. I know. Somebody else was watching them, too. Huh? This is sweet. And so they both prepared to leave Moomin Valley for their own home. But first, they decided they would give one last show of fireworks. And that was for the party Moomin Papa held in honor of the heavy. Aww. Um, uh, dear friends, we are deeply honored to have among us here this beautiful night in Moomin Valley, uh, Mr. Hamulin. <laughs> he is the discoverer of a new type of orchid, soon to be named Hemulensis or Hemuliformis after him. But this famed botanist will be able to tell you more about it himself, since he has promised that he will now describe the new orchid for us. So, Mr. Hemulin, if you'd be so kind. Yeah, where to begin? Now, the orchid has no fewer than 16 pistols. It has a lovely... A bit early there. Oh! It looks like that. Goodness gracious me, that's exactly what it looks like. Very nice. Uh, this is just giving me a big smile. This is just wholesome. I love it. The party for the Hemulin lasted long, long into the night. At the end of the day, that is a big contributing factor of what I love the most about this series. As much as it likes to diverge into, like, this weird sort of fantasy, spooky, off-the-wall stuff, as much as it loves to dive into this interesting world-building with these different, 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 differing species and characters and all sorts of stuff that happens and goes on in this world, at its core, there's a lot of wholesome stuff going on in this show, and 
this this mini this this two parter here this mini arc just exemplified that yet again building into this building into stuff that are part of these characters mr hemulin is the one that that's usually setting off the fireworks so it makes sense that he would that he would be in a family of firework makers so makes it really makes sense in just this flowing character the character and world based like world building and it's great and yeah just really wholesome there i did not expect it to get like get some like light romance there because they were cute together i mean we didn't really get get the nephew's name but i don't think at least but they, they were cute and just just being really wholesome like mr hemulin Mr. Hemulin getting his his discovery was his. He was the first to discover this new species. It's going to be named after him. He has achieved his well, one of his goals. It seems at least, and that's that's great. This couple who are engaged to or who are engaged to wed reuniting after 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 he's been off do trying to perfect these fireworks for midsummer while apparently his father's not not available to be doing it and just all culminates in this just good feel of hey we're 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 proud of we're proud of this person that is in our life let's just have a celebration for them and all of this coming together to just be like congratulations mr hamulin you you did it and of course, the the couple being together, just super cute, super sweet. And it, I'm surprised it came to, I'm surprised it came to that, because that that wasn't really what I was expecting. I, I was expecting it to be more, be more of like, like I, it it was giving me more of a vibe of uh, the lighthouse. Like I thought, like I thought it was going to come into this more emotional like exploration like like all like a, some some kind of deep emotionally heavy thing but no it was more lighthearted it was more wholesome it was more it was happy and and I really truly appreciate that cuz yes this series does have a lot of melancholy stuff going on but while I do love the melancholy, and I said it in the last episode that I appreciate, I, I appreciate the melancholy. I appreciate characters being able to fail. I appreciate, like, sad character emotional stuff going on. I also appreciate the wholesome, the feel good, the happiness that comes from just, hey, everything's all right. Things don't need to be bad. Things can just be good. That <laughs> a, I, I feel like that sentence is. I, I don't know. It, it it feels like it'd be in a coloring book. Jesus. But y I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Things can just be all right. Things don't have to be so overbearing and emo and, and like just heavy. Things don't have to be so heavy. They can just be light. And I appreciate it both ways. And I appreciate this. This was a really good this was a really good batch. I'm I'm so happy for this because there's just a lot of really good, really nice, really wholesome stuff going on here. Like they got the Moomins well, they didn't really celebrate Christmas. They were just kinda confused and Christmas just kinda happened to them, but it, it was nice. They they got they it and this ended up being a Christmas special, just because just because there was a Christmas episode amongst this. And yeah. This has been this has been great. Oh boy. Going into 2022 is going to be interesting. For me, and I feel like a lot of people, but hey, we have each other. And I feel like I'm finally starting to get back on track. Like I feel like the, all this fog of my of my mental garbage is finally starting to clear. 
Like hell, I, I, I managed some Twitter notifications today. I, I, I replied and I replied to unhearted comments today. It, it feels good to do that. I, I've been missing it, and I really need to. Like, at the time, at the time of, at the time of recording this, I do still need to do. I do still need to look through the comments of a good couple months of videos because I just. I feel like I've just been out of it. Like, I haven't been wanting to look into it. It's just... I've been wanting to, but, like, my my brain is just like, yeah, you may, you may as well not. Why would you? It's been bogging me down, and I feel like I'm finally starting to come out of it. 2022 is going to be interesting, but it's going to be the start of a lot of good things for me, I feel. Because I'm going to start doing... I'm going to start doing the Supercut videos. I'm going to start you know, making more highly edited stuff. I'm gonna start doing more scripted stuff, and I feel like I can finally manage to do that. And I'm excited to do it. Even though the Hollow Knight series is going to be a nightmare to edit through, because that's... That's like, a, that's like 90 hours. Either way, I... I'm excited for it. It may be slow coming, and <laughs> the Moomin stuff isn't going to go anywhere, at least for a g at least for another good few months. And yes, I'm worried about what's going to happen when the Moomin stuff is finished, but for now, I'm not going to worry so much about it. Whatever happens, happens, and I hope you guys, I hope you guys are, g I hope you guys will stick around no matter what, no no, no matter if these. No matter if this series ends, I hope at least I've at least I've brought you over to you know you know just I've got other stuff on this channel and maybe you'll like that and if not well I'm happy I had you along for the ride that's really all that matters people come and go for their series and I understand that and if you want to and if you want to go once the moment stuff's over I'm not gonna hold you up. I'm not going to ex expect you to stick around. It's your call. So either way, as always, everyone, like I said at the beginning of this of this of this episode, at the beginning of this batch, and this is definitely going to be for the final uh, the final version of the video. If, if you're wondering, happy holidays, merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa. Happy all the stuff, whatever you celebrate, and even if you don't celebrate anything, just take the time to be with the people you love. Even if it's not in person, we have the internet for a reason. Because of the internet, we are more connected than we ever have been. And I, th I, I know that with the internet, we can do amazing things. Just to be connected, just to have that togetherness. Spend these ho spend this holiday season cherishing the cherishing those important to you. That's 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 really what I have to say. That's what I'm gonna do. And I hope this was a good present for for you guys. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it would it it's going up. It it has a Christmas episode in it, so it's a Christmas episode. So. I'm gonna, I, I ramble, but you know, I love this season. Even if I, even if before, it feels right. I'm just like, eh, Christmas. But when it happens, it's just like, yeah, it's time for Christmas. So, have a great one, everyone. Even if you just watch these videos, that's even if you're just, even if you, you like, even for people who haven't, who don't, who haven't, like, offered financial support. You have a great one too, because just just by watching, you're important. You're important to me. You 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 help forward my hopes and dreams to make just this wonderful little wacky space where we can all just be, you know, just just enjoy our time and just feel good. And that's what I want to elicit. Just a feel good space. I may be a fucking weirdo, but hey. At least I'm honest. <laughs> At least I'm honest about it. But <laughs> isn't I feel like no one's truly normal, and we accept that here. We accept that everyone and everyone's a weirdo in their own way, 
And it's beautiful. It's beautiful that you're a weirdo. But yeah, enough of my mushy gushiness. I'll see, I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys next time. Well, actually, I'll see you guys next year, cons considering when this is going to be coming out. And, uh, yeah, have a good one. So that was episodes 36 through 40 of Adventures from Moon Valley. I know I already said it, but whether or not you celebrate anything this holiday season, just have a wonderful time, okay? This batch was wonderful and just filled me with all sorts of good, wholesome, wonderful feelings. As always, thank you to my supporters on Coffee, all the one-time donors scrolling by and the Shoggoth members. And an extra, extra special thank you to my attuned supporters, Bumble the Rabombi, who contributed the cute witch hat next to the cement mixer to the set, both of which are in-jokes, no I will not clarify. Lenart, shout out to Lambolo, who contributed the Lenart to the Lamp figure to the set, and Duckies, who contributed the Lori figure. And as always, don't forget about our stretch goal. If you guys get me to 10,000 subscribers before 2021 ends, I will play through the RPG Maker game called Changed in its entirety for the channel. This is in your hands.